Hey, Captain Chris Meyer, Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. What I'm going to show you today is what I think is one of the easiest ways to get kids into fishing, and I mean kids as little as three years old. I take my uh, four-year-old granddaughter doing this, and she loves it, and it's a great way to get kids into fishing with lots of action, very simple technique. You can see I have a very small fishing rod. If you're fishing with little kids, you want to have a rod that they can handle, not an adult-sized rod, which is going to be too heavy and too long for them to use. Very small reel, light line. You can get a little setup like this for probably less than 20 bucks. I have a small bobber attached here. Helps the kids know when they're getting the bite. And on the bottom I have tied on a number eight Eagle Claw gold hook. A small hook, because fish have small mouths. If you're wondering how to tie the hook on, you can check out my knot tying videos on my channel, especially my Canoe Man loop knot. Finally, the secret weapon is the bread. Everybody has bread in their house. We want to use fresh bread, not stale bread. Stale bread is just going to crumble. We need something that's nice and moist and will stay on the hook. Before you start, you can always take your crust of your bread, which doesn't stay on the hook very well. You can throw it out in the area you're going to fish. Helps attract the fish, helps them get, in, get into a little feeding frenzy. You don't have to do that. Grab a small piece of bread, roll it up between your thumb and forefinger, make a little ball, put it through on the hook, it should end up with something like that. Now you might have to cast for your kids, maybe they're not big enough to be able to cast out. A lot of times you don't have to go very far. You can see behind me in this pond, we have some lily pads if you have something like that. That's always something good to fish around. The fish use that as cover. It's kind of a place where they live. Cast it out next to there. Now the good thing about having the bobber is, you know when the bobber goes down, that's when you have a bite. A lot of times you can see the bread below your bobber so you know if you still got your bait. There the bobber's starting to move. Something's playing with it. Uh, it usually doesn't take very long, especially if you chum those fish up beforehand. And if you're not getting a bite right away, there's a very good chance that, just like happened to me, either the bait, either your bread fell off because it was a little too stale, like this one I've had out here for a while this morning, starting to get old, get you a new piece of bread, or the smaller fish picked it off the hook. So let's try this one again. Nice little small bread ball. Toss it out by the lily pads. Something's already on it. And that one we missed. So that one had the bobber down. So we made two casts, got two bites. So even when you're not catching a fish every cast, which you probably don't want your kids thinking that all fishing is a fish every cast because it certainly is not but it keeps you entertained because you're constantly getting bites. You're not just sitting there waiting for an hour for a fish to come along and get a bite. This is action-packed, easy fishing. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Nice little panfish on a bread ball. Real simple. One thing I found, if the kids don't want to touch the fish, don't make them touch it, but you can show them yourself. The only thing that's going to hurt you on these fish are these spines up here on the back, so be careful. Those things can be sharp, as can the ones down here. So when you're grabbing these fish, you want to be careful you don't get poked by those things. It's best off if you don't even touch them. You just get a pair of pliers, and you can uh, grab the hook and pull them off with the pliers. Catch and release action, you can catch lots of fish in a really short amount of time for a small budget. It's fun for the kids, entertaining, and it teaches them a lifelong skill that they can enjoy.